YC TV Crack and Packs. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. My name is Dean. Today's episode of Crack and Packs, uh, we're doing a blast from the past. One of my favorite games, Dice Masters. It's still being made. We're still making videos about it. 12 boosters, team build, after the break. Let's make it rain. Let's make it rain. Yeah. We are back, X-Men Dice Masters First Class. Uh, pretty excited, 12 packs. Uh, one of my favorite things, again, I'm not gonna beat this horse dead too much in this video, but man, for 12 bucks, you get 12 booster packs, 99 cents each. Two dice, two cards per pack, and with this $12, you can, ladies and gentlemen, assemble a functional deck ready to play. One of the reasons why I really do just enjoy it and love this game. So uh, let's go ahead and just crack these open and uh, see what we get. And uh, yeah, so about 12 packs. What you're looking at is about 90 packs per booster. Um, you got gray are your uncommons, and we got two uncommons basically, uh, Polaris and Havoc. Uh, yeah, so basically out of the 90 packs, you are looking at the possibility of getting an ultra rare red bar card, uh, two per box, two per booster box. So let's get these cracking and see what we get. Two uncommons so far. Uh, cool thing about the newer sets is you do get the foils. So we get a foil Iceman for five mana. Uh, Awaken, it's a new ability it seems like. Uh, once per turn, double Iceman's printed attack until end of turn. When this die spins up one or more levels, you may use this effect. Interesting. So two more commons, one foil. Okay. Now I do always enjoy the new Dice Masters set. Very excited that this is still being uh, supported. If you need to know how to play, Got an awkward setup, so let me kind of reach around the camera here and grab some, grab some boosters. Uh, go ahead and check out in the description, link to the video, how to play Dice Masters and why you should start. I think it's a pretty good video, how to put it together, and uh, kind of walks you through the basics, uh, common and uncommon. So excuse me, yeah, so gray is uh, commons, green uncommon, red is super rare, yellow is rare, so we skip one there. So yeah, so we got the first Sasquatch Great Beast Tanarak. Uh, whenever a character die you control spins up one level, spin this one up as well. Three, three, four, four, six, six, respectively for five mana. Meh, not too bad. Thunderbird for four. It is a common. When Thunderbird attacks, spin all other X Men character die up one level. Pretty interesting. So, uh, okay, keep it rolling. Nothing too crazy yet. I feel like the rares in this set, uh, modern Dice Master sets, about three to four bucks. You might get a ten dollars. Seems like they drop pretty quick. But for the most part, you're looking for any reds. Nope. Gray and a green. Looking at the bar here. Sentinel. Pretty cool artwork. Uh, again, another thing cool with the set is uh, you know, just Dice Masters in general. You're getting Marvel, you're getting DC, you're getting some capes and cowls, you're getting some really cool stuff. Not your typical TCG affair. I mean, yes, there's legendary, but um, you're not really opening boosters for that kind of stuff. Uh, Jean Grey for six feels expensive when Jean Grey is active. When an opposing character die is fielded, deal damage to it equal to her level. Okay, that's actually pretty good. So that's built-in removal. Whenever they level, uh, field at level one, two, or three, uh, deal damage equal to her level to that creature. Interesting. So you can do one, two, three damage. Get in some removal. That's one thing opposed to like say like Magic the Gathering in Dice Masters. Removal is pretty hard to come by. So if you can get some of that in some of your built-in die, I mean you gotta go for it. It's gonna be hard to zoom in. We are rocking the webcam. Um, one thing with the channel you'll notice a array of cameras being used. Uh, mostly work cameras. I try to check out what I can, but it's tough sequencing when I'm off with when I want to film. Uh, it might be hard to pick up, but we do have our first rare card, so. Uh, X, you know, X-Men team, Boom Boom for two. Love that cost. While Boom Boom is active, when you use a basic action die, it deals two damage to target opponent or character die. Interesting. So more removal. Interesting. Pyro for five. Awaken. So whenever you spin this up a level, deal one damage to target opponent for each lightning bolt in your reserve pool. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Now, another thing that you might notice out of the back for the MTG diehards, I mean, yeesh, these cards are rough. Um, packaged in a booster pack for 99 cents, 
This might not be the best delivery method. However, I will, I can absolutely stand by this. Um, you can put these in sleeves. The sheath blocks the card from being scratched from the dice. And with proper, you know, you know, stick about 100, 200 of these in an Ultra Pro box with some sleeves and they go right back to where they should be. So as far as the card stock goes, that's kind of unfortunate, but uh, it can be fixed. Just throw that, some, you know, throw that in some sleeves. So that's, uh, that's a pretty cool looking die, translucent die. Could that be an ultra rare? No. What do we got? We got Boom Boom for two. And Blink. When Blink is active, when you play a action die, spin target character up one level. Okay, interesting. Interesting, so I'm kind of splitting these out by rarity. Typically, now, there will be one artwork used for each rarity level, so there might be three different versions of Boo Boom with different text and fielding costs. So just be wary of that. Like I said, if you want to learn how to play, check out the video, uh, excuse me, the link in the video description. That's how you will learn. Let's get a rare. What do we got? Common Avalanche. When Avalanche is knocked out, knock out all level one character die and uncommon dupe. Uh, I feel like they're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel as far as characters go in these newer sets. Let's get that to focus. Never heard of dupe. If you heard of dupe, let me know in the comments. If you got dupe issue number one, uh, keep it, maybe? Maybe not? Maybe, maybe not? I do enjoy getting some more, uh, as far as team building goes, some more X-Men cards to play with. It's probably one of my favorites as far as, you know, DC, Marvel. I just feel like the Marvel sets, the Marvel characters, for me personally, have always just resonated more. So let's keep this bad boy moving. Five packs left. You know, monetary value, no reds. We do have a, uh, another yellow, without peeking. Uh, Havoc, Cosmic Absorption. When Havoc takes damage, you may deal an equal amount of damage to target opposing die. Common level, not too bad. Quicksilver is a villain die with the new Magneto. Seems like Magneto tribe vibe. Might be some synergy there. What does that mean? Uh, Magneto helmet. Brotherhood of the Evil Mutants. So that's like a new new squad in, the, in this latest set. Awaken. Field your next character die for free. Interesting. So whenever you spin this guy up a level, you get to field the character die for free. I haven't got there yet, but I feel like there's a lot of spin your characters up a level type interaction. You just got to read the text. So four packs left. Let's go ahead and uh, move that over there. It's really just bent and skewed cards, so I'm gonna go ahead and just reach across very unnaturally and grab the last four packs. 90 packs of booster, two ultra rares, a booster box. Not in the fourth pack. Blob is a villain. Three cost. Um, wow, level three is a one eight. I feel like I haven't really seen that before, but I feel like that's pretty terrible. What does the text read? When fielded, capture all opposing sidekick die until Blob leaves a field zone. Wow. At common level, kind of a weird card, but I feel like uh, I have a strategy which utilizes a lot of sidekicks. This might be a good, uh, good variant for that. Uh, when fielded, knock out target opposing X-Men character die equal of equal or lower level. Kind of expensive. Not really a lot of contrast to see, but at level three, Sentinels an 8-8. Eight, eight. I mean, 8-8 eight, eight for six. It's pretty big. It's a bomb in the Dice Master's world. Uh, level two, he's a 6-6. Six, six. At the very bare minimum for six mana, six energy, you can cast him for 5-5. Five, five. Interesting. Interesting. It's a green card. That might be, that might see play. Now, I feel with this limited, uh, you know, limited team building, you do have to cross, you know. There might be some villains. There might be some X-Men. I'm very interested to see what, what we can build with this set. Now, there are no action cards in the base booster packs, so as far as that goes, you're not going to be able to have access to the action cards, but I feel with just an eight-man team against another opponent, uh, you really can have a lot of fun. So, uh, common Jean Grey. Again, Jean Grey is very expensive. Uh, when field spin all other active character die up a level, that's how you trigger the, uh, the new, new ability Awaken. So, Jean Grey can do that if you do desire. And we have an artifact equipment the Blackbird Foil. Now, unfortunately, I mean, geez. Brutal. Brutal warping going on from the start. So for the Magic the Gathering players, anybody bitching about the uh, you know foil quality, the bending out of the pack, uh, play Dice Masters. 
you know, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty rough. But like I said, it's sheathed. Dice aren't scratching. So throw it in a sleeve. You should be good to go. But what do we got? The Blackbird. X-Men character die you control cannot be targeted by global abilities or action dice. Dope. Uh, global play one generic. Uh, target global ability cannot be used until the start of your next turn. I feel like this card is amazing. I like this card a lot. Um, some, uh, you know, like I said, there's some different strategies. We're gonna do some casual brews. I know I've been teasing them for a very long time. For Dice Masters, uh, a lot of targeted abilities, global abilities can really mess with some strategies. A card like the Blackbird, I feel like is uh, an auto include in my X-Men deck coming soon. Two packs left, $12 of product, lots of dice. Um, absolutely enough to fill the team. Let's get some. Uh, let's get some monetary value. That'll be fun. All right. Ooh, a foil. Green. Juggernaut. When a sidekick die is knocked out, Juggernaut gains two attack, two defense, until end of turn. Uh, seven six, potentially a nine eight. That's fun. Uh, level one is a six three. Level two is a seven four, potentially with two, plus two two. I mean, that's very playable. Put that in the foil greens. I will put this in the common slot. I feel like we lost the foil somewhere, but I will find it. And last pack for the video. I feel like we do a pretty good job of getting one ultra rare, one red bar. Uh, I think I've gotten two on cam. I broke some Guardians of the Galaxy in between, not on camera, did not get one. So let's see what we get. Ooh, it's foil, so it's definitely Foil Sentinel Ultra, ultra Rare, that'd be dope. Uh, common Bishop. Prevent all damage dealt to Bishop from a masked character die. And, ladies and gentlemen, the last card's a foil. Is it a Ultra Rare? Damn. Green Common Sentinel. Kind of, you know, pretty good foil. You know, as far as foil and quality goes, the back's pretty cheap. Not a lot of money spent. No spot varnishes, but uh, pretty cheap card stock. Sentinel target identified when fielded knockout target opposing X-Men die of equal or lower level. Damn, I feel like that's a dupe. That's a dupe in foil. So um, pretty good, pretty fun. Like I said, the cream of the crop, the whole basically, the reason why I play Dice Masters is uh, a TCG with custom die. Awesome. Just do a quick little like up close look real quick. You know, got some fun stuff. Uh, if that will ever focus, maybe, okay. Mm. Not really. Uh, cool. So after the break, I'm going to see what we can do as far as a team build, and we'll check it out right now. So here's what we came up with. Dice Masters X-Men First Class Team Build. Uh, pretty exciting build. Went with the Awaken strategy. Now, i got to be honest, it was pretty rough as far as the curve goes. Two threes uh, are fours. Uh, we got three dice in that area. You kind of want to have a two drop if you can. Um, in this instance, we do not have that. But what we're trying to do is buy these threes real quick. Blob, kind of the star of the show as far as slowing the opponent down. Uh, kind of a shield, kind of a wall type character. 1-5, uh, 1-6, one 1-8 one one respectively. When fielded, capture all opposing sidekick die until Blob leaves the field zone. Uh, pretty awesome. We're only running one, so uh, the second part will not trigger. Or you field another Blob die. So what we're going to do is we're going to steal the sidekicks. Kind of slow them down they're not going to attack for a turn or two to be by our level fours our level fives uh, to trigger the awaken ability thunderbird when thunderbird attacks spin all of your other x-men character die up one level um, went with dupe iceman and Jean gray so let's go blob we'll buy some dupes buy some thunderbirds go the x-men route so we can kind of trigger that awaken ability uh dupe at the four level capture a target opposing character die until end of turn so we kind of kind of remove some blockers send in some uh send in some awesome offensive threats like iceman which has the awaken ability of once per turn double iceman's printed attack so uh you know you can get up to an eight six remove some blockers field blob remove some sidekicks and just send an offensive threat which potentially can do a lot of damage but like i said uh, i wish we had some lower cost Better, uh, better answers down here. Um, unfortunately, Quicksilver, Quicksilver is a rare. Great card, three drop. Uh, 
lightning bolt energy so we got some options early game the awaken ability will not trigger from the x-men trigger here uh awaken filled your next character die for free so potentially you can get some more ramping going on, going on that way but in order to get that going uh you go blab you go thunderbird and then i would say go jean gray jean gray whenever you field her spend all other active character die up one level that's going to trigger everybody with awakening and uh you know pretty fun synergy that way kind of expensive at six but she gets up to a six six um some pretty good removal uh pyro what does pyro do uh, awaken deal one damage to target opponent for each bolt in your reserve pool uh we got a couple bolt characters so you can get some double with quicksilver some synergy that way uh you can deal removal damage pretty good Jean gray activating that let's reach around the tripod go this way and uh, let's check out Sasquatch, 5 drop. Uh, whenever an active character die you control spins up on level, he automatically is just constantly ramping up. 3-3, three, 4-4, three, four, four, six, six, doing a lot of damage. Uh, cool thing about this build is it is actually mixing some villains, some X-Men, some pretty fun stuff. I think this is pretty competitive, I don't know. It's definitely fun to play, it's a little slow. Um, now there are no action cards in this build, so Blink would be the include. I would probably swap out for something, not quite sure, but Blink. Whenever Blink is active, when you play an action die, spin target character die up on level, triggering Awaken. Good engine for that. However, in these base booster packs, there are no action cards, thus this is irrelevant. Uh, you know, hunt down some action cards, throw in Blink. Pretty good card. That being said, X-Men Dice Masters seems like an awesome set. Excited to check out more booster packs. Uh, stay tuned. Check out some Pokemon stuff. Young Corpse TV 2018. Lots of fun shit coming. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Dean.